Welcome back to the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls around the world. Good evening, boys and girls. Are you ready for bed? Are you all snuggled up and ready for another Lights Out Bedtime Story? Good, because you're in for a treat tonight. That's right, another monster treat. With a book called Monsters Don't Eat Broccoli by Barbara Jean Hicks and illustrated by Sue Hendra. And a huge shout out goes to all you amazing listeners and supporters of the show who are making our mission of a thousand ad-free stories forever for boys and girls around the world a reality. We're almost up to 600. Now, back to the story because it's all about the story. Monsters don't eat broccoli. Then what do they eat? Let's find out. The waitress at this restaurant doesn't have a clue. Monsters don't eat broccoli. How could she think we do? We'd rather snack on tractors or a rocket ship or two or tender trailer titbits or a wheely steely stew. No, monsters don't eat broccoli or artichokes or greens. We can't abide alfalfa sprouts or slimy lima beans. But redwoods are delectable and boulders, what a treat. And a fountain, so refreshing in this dreadful summer heat. No, monsters don't eat broccoli. We crazy for construction. And we crave our fish and ships. But monsters don't eat broccoli. It will not pass our lips. You cannot force us monsters to eat vegetables we hate. Let humans have the garden and we will eat the garden gate. No, monsters don't eat broccoli. Monsters love a picnic on a blanket in the park. Fum, fo, fi, fi. You're chewing down on broccoli. Say what? This isn't broccoli. It's crunchy, munchy trees. And wow, are they delicious. Another helping, please. The end of Monsters Don't Eat Broccoli by Barbara Jean Hicks and illustrated by Sue Hendra. Here on the Lights Out Podcast, bedtime stories for boys and girls and monsters that don't eat broccoli around the world. Good night.